welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be going over the key essentials you're gonna need for getting into uh, filmmaking and video making with analog video cameras. So this video is more directed towards anyone out there who is new to the whole um, analog video world. Analog video cameras are, what I'm talking about, are mini DV, Hi8, Video8, VHSC, VHS, anything that takes the tape is analog. And it's a lot different than just being able to record something onto an SD card, taking it out of your camera, and putting it onto your laptop. It is nowadays, at least. So, there are ways around it if you do have a Mac computer. I don't know anything about Macs, so I can't help you there. <laughs> so, today I'm going to be going over the five key components that you're going to need to start filming with a analog video camera. Now, some of them might be obvious and be like, really? Yeah, no, no shit, you need something like that. So, <laughs> just bear with me. Um, a lot of people might not know, but uh, we'll just get into it. As for our first one, this is obviously a no-brainer, but for number one, you're gonna need, well, a camera. Maybe you just barely bought a video camera maybe from a thrift store or maybe off of eBay or Macari or wherever you can find secondhand video cameras from. Well, your first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you're buying something that works. You want the camera to be in a good working condition. You don't want to get it and then have it have some kind of problem with the tape deck or the tape heads or the lens or audio or whatever. You want it to be working just perfect. So that is an obvious thing probably out there. Let's put in the circumstance that you got a camcorder from a thrift store and you're not sure if it works or not because the battery um, won't take a charge or something like that. Well, that comes into our next part. So number two is you're going to need a battery that takes a charge and works. So for my Canon GL1, I have a, now this is a very used um, battery for it. I do have a few other batteries, but this is a extended, uh, extended life battery. Um, it holds a charge for a really, really long time, obviously, which is why it's such a big battery. Um, so I, I never have to really use any of my other batteries. I just use this one because it holds uh, the, the charge for so long. If you have a camera and you don't know if it works or not because the battery is shot and it's probably 20, 30 years old, you can look around on Amazon and eBay for new and used batteries. Obviously, used ones would be on eBay, but you can find new ones for pretty much any camera on Amazon. And uh, if you have a Canon GL1, GL2, XL1, or XL2, um, I'll leave a link to a battery for you if you need a new one for your camera, because it's obviously a very important part of the camera. You can't turn it on without a battery or some form of power source. Now, the third thing that you're gonna need is, this also sounds kinda stupid, but you're gonna need some form of a tape, like you can see here. Well. This isn't the tape, but the tape's inside of this. So, the tape looks like so, and this is a mini DV tape. If you want to be able to record to your analog video camera, um, this is pretty much your SD card. It has a certain amount of minutes that you can record onto, but this is going to be your memory card. Now, on your camcorder, you want to make sure your tape deck can play, rewind, fast forward, tapes because if it can't do any of that then your camcorder is pretty much junk and you can't use these. Now if you do your own research you can find some various ways out there to record tapeless and I have an example I'll leave up in the cards but there's a lot of things that go with it and makes your camera very bulky so just look into that if that's a way that you would rather do that but this is the standard way of doing it. As for number four, you're going to need some way to digitalize your tapes. And there's a few different ways that you can do that. Like I said, there's the tapeless way, 
and there's ways that you can record to a SD card. There's converters like that out there. And there's ways that you can connect it to your laptop. And then there's softwares that you can download and drivers so that your laptop, computer, whatever, recognizes that there's a camera connected to it and then your laptop or computer will record your footage from your tape to your laptop. So that is one of my favorite ways of doing it. And this is the Ion Video to PC. Um, this one's not produced anymore, so if you do want one of these, um, you'll have to look around on eBay for them. There's quite a bit of them out there. But pretty much the way that it works, you connect it to um, the component cables in the front. Um, you have your audio cables, they're red and white, and then your yellow one is your video. And then that connects to your camera, and uh, there's various ways that uh, other cameras do it. Or you can choose S-Video. Um, certain cameras have them, certain cameras don't. Cameras like these definitely have it. And S-Video is kind of like HDMI before HDMI was a thing. Now S-Video doesn't actually have audio in it, so what you'll have to do is you'll plug your S-Video cable in and then two of the component um, left and right audio jacks in. And you'll plug the S-Video into your camcorder and the component audio cables into your camcorder and that's how it'll work for your computer. Running it onto the back side, it just has a simple USB that plugs into your computer and then you go into the software and it'll recognize it and you start recording. If you wanna know how this converter actually works, I'll leave another link up in the cards and you can check out my video on how I digitalize uh, my tape footage. So that's a very important part that you'll need as well. Now if you have a Mac computer, um, I believe that you can just find a, a Firewire um, adapter and you can plug it in through USB and then the Firewire um, plugs into your camera and that makes it a super easy way for your computer to just recognize it and download your footage that way. Now, I don't have a Mac computer, so um, on that note, you'll have to kind of do your own research on that, on how that works. I don't know if there's certain settings you have to change in your laptop or whatnot. So just look into that if you want to do it that way, if you have a MacBook or some form of Mac computer. But if you have PC, this is my favorite way to do it. There's a lot of different converters out there. There's big ones, small ones, ones that are portable, um, that just plug into the wall and record to an SD card. Um, so just do your research on what would work for you. If you want a version that you just plug into your laptop or you can have one that you can uh, use on the go. Okay, and as for number five, this one's probably the most uh, duh one out of them all. And that is, you're gonna need a laptop or some form of a computer. This is a Asus. Um, laptop. I don't know the actual uh, name of the laptop, the model name, but it's an Asus laptop. It's a really, really nice one. Uh, that's what I use. I don't use this for actually um, recording. I have an old uh, laptop that I have that, um, long story short, this comes with a disc that uh, has software and drivers, and you put it into your laptop and you download the software and the drivers. This doesn't have a CD-ROM in it, and my other laptop does, so I put it into that one, and I use that one to do um, all my recording onto. So, and then I take, I put everything on like a USB drive, and I just put it onto here for editing. So where I'm going with this is, you, you got all of this, and you want a way to edit it, or be able to post it somewhere, well, you have to have a computer to do that. So whether you have a SD card um, a converter or um, one that records from your laptop, I still think you need a laptop to do this because whether you have it saved to a thumb drive or a SD card, you still need a way to digitalize it and put it onto a digital uh, platform, I guess. So where I'm going with this is if you want to make YouTube videos out of it, you got to have a laptop. If you want to be able to edit the videos and make a uh, make a skate video, we'll say, 
an old school skateboarding video, you gotta be able to edit it. Or if you want the stuff, all the footage, and be able to use it for Instagram and social media, you still have to have a way to import it to your phone. So whether you email the, the clips to yourself or you use Dropbox or um, if you can somehow uh, transfer the, the videos from your laptop to your phone through like your USB phone charger or whatever, uh, that way as well. So you still need some form of a laptop or computer for all of this to work. Most people have a laptop or a computer. I'm not going to recommend any kind of laptop for you out there because honestly I don't really know a lot about laptops. I just know that this one is a nice one and it's good for editing. That is my five things that you need to start recording with an analog video camera. You need a working camera, you need a usable battery that can take a charge, you need a good tape, um, you need some form of a video converter, and you need a laptop for editing and posting to wherever you want it, or ways of saving. So I hope this video was helpful at all. It was kind of a weird video, but I, I've kind of had it on my mind for a little while. So I figured I would help maybe the new, uh, the new people out there who are just getting into it. Because I remember when I first got into it, or I was wanting to get into it, and I was looking at all these cameras because I had friends that were around me that used them and I didn't understand how they got them onto their computer and stuff. And I, I think I just researched it on YouTube and I found that there's all these different kinds of converters out there. And this was like maybe 2018. So definitely there's a lot more converters out there that you can use nowadays. But once I figured that out, I was like super excited and stoked that holy crap I can use these old tape cameras to film uh, scootering and, and action sports with. So I got super excited on it and now I have a obsession with all of these uh, <laughs> these uh, old video cameras. I think they're just so fun to film with. So if you've never filmed with a old video camera like these, definitely give it a go. Like if you're hesitant and you're just doing research right now, uh, definitely just get like the converter or whatever you need to get into filming with these. Even if it's just a, uh, even if you buy a camera that's super cheap, but takes, um, you know, mini DV tapes or video eight, uh, eight millimeter tapes or whatever kind of t tape camera you want to use. They're just, they're so fun to use because they're so mechanical and there's moving parts and you got to actually rewind the tape and the video footage is just, I feel like you can just take whatever you want and almost just like bring it back two, three decades and it looks like it's just from that, from the 90s, from the early 2000s and stuff like that. Even in the 80s if you have, if you can find some old, uh, 80s VHS cameras. It's just they're they're so they're so fun to film with and like I don't know the the audio um, just makes it so nostalgic and all that. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff or getting into it on how anything works, just leave, leave me a comment. Like the video if it was helpful and if you like the content, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video.